So apparently I'm moving more towards Disney Pixar things now, I guess. This isn't really intentional, it's just kind of happening. But um, welcome to Let's Play an old game. A movie tie-in game that is an interesting case. I feel this game knows what it is. It knows what it's doing. Most licensed games like this one either... Well, I mean, some of them are just kind of bad in every regard. Some, like this one, um, are rather short. Some others try to to stretch themselves way too thin, make themselves a lot, try to be more than they should be, and everything ends up kind of subpar because of it. This game seems to have a good idea of how it should be short and sweet, I guess you would say. Like everything is reasonable quality. There's just not as much of it to be seen. More than anything, I mean, the production quality varies across different aspects of this game, but more than anything, for some reason, its music is better than it has any right to be. But anyways, this game was a game that I would occasionally play. I never actually owned it, but I would play it every now and then when... Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have to skip some scenes that are actually from the movie because I can't show that on YouTube. But it, it, the plot is just the plot from the movie, if you're familiar with that, which you should be. Nemo. But in any That's case... How's a lucky fan? Lucky. I never actually owned this game. I played through it a great many times, too many times to remember. I essentially, while at a look how pretty this all is, it's really nice, really nice music. I like it all. You're gonna learn to hate these rings, by the way. At least I am. But so essentially, at a relative's house, I would occasionally visit, or rather frequently visit, where I had absolutely nothing to do. The only thing to do was a PS2 that wasn't usually even plugged in anywhere. I had to take it out and plug it on myself, which back then and that day was pretty tough because we didn't have a single HDMI cable to plug, we also had the matter of, uh... had those composite cables. We had three whole cables to plug in. Two for audio and one for video. Also, we have some unreal segments here. And these are segments where you can actually miss those rings permanently, and you have to reset the whole level, which is why these rings are terrible. But in any case, this game was the only game that was there, too, so it was all I had to play. But... Oh. So I got rather used to playing it, despite never actually owning it. And eventually I decided to just start trying to harm percent the thing. And this is actually a pretty tricky game with regards to that. Mostly just because it's frustrating trying to harm percent things that you can permanently miss in a level. So then you have to restart the whole level, as I already mentioned. I won't say it's too difficult to actually complete in the first place, at least that I remember. Either that or I just got a lot of practice and eventually became pretty good at it. I don't know. The game controls nicely though, it looks nice, it sounds nice. It's Nice in general. In any case, so see these things down here. You're gonna see what those mean later. Um, and pause me doesn't show anything about them. You'll see. Oh, there's a big clan blocking our way. Looks like we'll have to go home. Do you even like want your kid to go to school? Anyways, so this basically means you need to explore pretty much everything everywhere if you wanna get credit for doing everything on all the levels. And you do unlock things for actually 100%ing the levels. Which takes quite a bit of extra effort, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna at least try from the beginning to start doing that. I'm definitely not gonna hundred percent everything in the first try. And there's probably gonna be some cases where I have to restart a level to actually get hundred percent, so I don't know if that's gonna be something I can actually fully pull off. We'll see. In any case. This game also has its screen get really dark in some places sometimes. Which I don't. I know YouTube at least used to make videos darker. I don't know if it's gonna be a problem later on or not. I think you can change the screen brightness to the pause menu, though, so I'll have to do that later. You can have it, Nemo. Thanks for saving me. See if you can carry it with your fin. All you gotta do is hold the action button. Gameplay is quite simple, so thankfully the tutorial doesn't last too long. Okay, the one thing I will say is kind of subpar in this game is it's um voice acting. You throw it. Throw. Kind of. Nemo doesn't have much of a fin on him. Look, Dad, we can keep going. What are you doing? You could have been hurt. Dad, I'm fine. Let's go. I'm just going over the possibility of actually swimming around things. Although my father seems to have grasped the concept of the third dimension, Nemo unfortunately has not. All right, so this thing. This looks oddly similar to a pearl you might have noticed. Well, I mentioned that. That little pedestal-looking thing on the ground is of some significance. 
In every level you'll find three of these. One red, one green, one blue. That's that said, one out of three. And we will want to bring every stone to its corresponding pedestal. It's not all the uh, optional objectives for each level. You don't really get it. I don't think you get anything whatsoever if you get if you complete these individual objectives. If you get, for example, all three of these things, or if you get um, all of the rings. I think you need to get all of the optional things done in a given level to actually get credit for it, in the sense of actually unlocking anything for it. And you'll see what we get after that. I really can't promise to 100% in this game totally actually I think about it, because there are some things, some unlockable content in this game is super hard. Anyways. So, I, I, don't, I didn't even pay attention to how old this game is. <laughs> I'm not even sure how old it is. Um, is that one off to the right? Fins of steel. Oh well, we'll have to go home now. Hey Nemo, maybe you could do it. Try pressing the action button to dart through them. What's this father's deal? Okay. So controls are being unlocked as we go through the tutorial here. How's your fin? It's fine, Dad. Look, I can see school. Come on, Nemo! Race ya! Okay, no, not yet, let's no. Go. No! Crap! <laughs> oh. Nemo. Okay. That's my boy. So this is not I'm not gonna restart more levels after this, but this is just a demonstration of the experience. Also, I can't skip these cutscenes, by the way. This is an idea of what it's like. Trying to actually get everything in this game. I at least want to 100% this first level, though. I can't remember if I'd pass the thing up or not. Why can't there be a way to skip cutscenes? You can skip most things in this game by pressing triangle, but not this, unfortunately. Yes, I know, man. Yeah, let's go! It's why I went back in time. Alright. Zoom. And for some reason, even after playing this game a bunch of times, I tend to accidentally miss a couple things in the first level. Not sure why that is. But where is that blue pedestal, then? So there is the red. But you'll notice, for example, there wasn't any indication that I was going about to enter a point of no return right then. I entered that race. If I want to present this game, I probably have to use save states or something, which I don't really want to do, so I'll probably just avoid Boston 100%, but at least show in the first level they can unlock stuff. And then try to unlock things from there on out, but if I don't, then that's just how it happens. So where's the blue pedestal, though? There's a big clam blocking our way. Looks like we'll have to go home. No, oh, wrong way. Have to explore thoroughly. That's, um, wait. Yeah, that's it. Darn it. Alright, just didn't remember that the first time. It always sounds so painful when you accidentally make Nemo rub against a rock. Ah! Oh, you made me eat! It's a really rough sounding oh, noise. Sorry, sorry. Every time I go to a cutscene I've seen, seen before, I'm mashing all the face buttons in frustration to try to actually skip it, but there's no way. Like, I'm pressing L3, R3, like everything I can think of. It's just not happening. It's very noisy. Come on, Nemo. Stop being so thoughtful. Boom. Look, Dad. We can keep going. What are you doing? You could have been hurt. Where did you come from? You're just like a meter away from me a moment ago. Anyways, so now we have these things to play with again. This one was closer. The blue one's also... Well, the blue one's in the cave. Red is... Not too far off. Red is the one I have memorized. 
disregards the location for whatever reason. I think the idea was they tried to, like, camouflage the red pedestal amongst all the red coral over here. That's always what I imagined it to be, at least. Yeah, see these red things? And then suddenly, amongst those, red pedestal. Now... I wish there was a way to swim faster under normal circumstances. I don't think the move button makes you swim faster normally, though. Unless you're actually in, like, a race or something. Okay. Not just yet. So, you always want to be cautious if you're trying to represent this game, apparently. Never move beyond where you have to. Always check everything very thoroughly first. Oh, down here. I will say, I actually really like how everything... I don't think you guys can really see it, but... Nemo is legitimately a lot more heavy feeling. Oh, there you go. That's what happens when you do something. When you fill out an optional... Accomplishment, I guess? Achievement for a level? Whatever you want to call it. But Nemo actually has a lot of weight to him when you're carrying something, which is kind of nice and simultaneously frustrating. Whoa! Those rocks almost fell on us and now we can't move them! Guess you'll never get to school, Nemo! Have you ever tried them yet? Let me do it, Nemo. Oh, gee. I can't move them. Love that face. Oh, well, we'll have to go home now. Hey, Nemo! Maybe you could do it! Try pressing the action button to dart through them. Are you okay? How's your fin? It's fine, Dad. Look, I can see school! Come on, Nemo! Race ya! Okay, let's okay, go! I swear if I miss any of the rings here. There are rings in this portion. You know, you can't really see ahead of yourself, and the path is curving constantly, too, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly where you're going to be. Of course, this being the first level, it's relatively easy to get everything. There we go. But there's some long segments like that later on in the game. They get really frustrating. You know, just hold the run button the whole time, and you'll probably get first. Ta -da! And getting first is also another condition for on every single level. Let's you don't actually have to win to complete the level. Let's go play with them. Hey Nemo, I bet you didn't know that you can knock bubbles into other creatures and then dart into them like you did those rocks. Really? Let me try it. Clams are stupid. Nemo, be careful of those clams. Let's kill stuff. So I think we actually on level now, so you can do that. There's not any reason to do it right now in particular. And yes, the bubbles do automatically go where they're supposed to. Nope. But, see, if you look up on top, you can see if you've done all this stuff, any individual things for any given level. You also get, I forgot about that, times you fairy level too. Nope. I, st I, can't, I can't figure out how to get rid of those console messages up on the top of the screen. I used to have them not there, but I don't remember how anymore. Anyway, so you can see how, if I go up on here, it, it's just what it is. If I go up here, bottom left, you can see, bonus, I can do a bonus thing, which corresponds to that top starfish. Duh! So it's, there's not really any, much of any visual indication of it. You can see some bubbles coming up, I guess, but there's an updraft right here. So, there are a few different types of bonus levels you can unlock. One is this, where you have to have this Pixar related ball go through a few rings. This one's actually a little more tricky ones. Ah, of course, right there, yeah. The where'd the ball go? No, oh. I, I knew that, I know it got caught in the updraft, but I didn't think it actually stayed there. It's a nice demonstration of underwater physics, but it's also a huge pain. Boom. Let me see if that just takes it right to where it's supposed to be. The later levels with this thing get really tough, though, uh, because they get timed, and some of them have really tight timing. Have to do things in like 10 seconds or something like that, if I remember right. It's kind of ridiculous. It gets tough. Anyways, we can write out the end of this episode by hanging up here and looking at what we, uh, what we have unlocked now. Uh, seriously, I, I assure you, I've looked at the, all the options I can find. I can't figure out how to get rid of those status messages for writing on the writing to memory card. Anyways. 
So there's no music or anything like that, but you, you get to see concept art. I don't remember if you unlock concept art for all of these. I don't remember if the unlockables vary or not. But anyways, once you've unlocked all of the gold stars for a level, including its bonus level, then you can press circle over that particular area as the menu tells you, and it will show you at least something. I don't know if it varies what you get for each level. I'm going to hit fast forward since you don't need to see this quickly. You guys can just pause to look at anything in particular you want to see. Of course, I'm only getting like 25% speed increase by going fast forward on this, but whatever. But that will be that for this episode of Let's Play Finding Nemo. You can see how they, affect, how they apply the water depth field effect. That's not really what that's called, but the fog. It's nice. Of course, you can tell when I go turbo and unturbo. Ugh. In any case, I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, let's play Finding Nemo, where we do more stuff that will hopefully be easy. What things we have to do? Ah. Okay, so we still have rings. Okay. Yeah, so you can also look up at the top to see what to expect, what things you need to do. So two of those icons are new icons. You'll see what those are later. Of course, you probably, I guess all these are. The checkered flag is the race. The bottom two are the stones and the bubbles. I think all the levels have bubbles, probably all of them, and just about all of them have stones. Anyways, see you guys!